what is up guys how is everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box below let's get right into this spirit ancestors and guys let's see what's going on with the collective and their person at this time spirit they are hiding their true selves. Maybe they don't trust you. Okay, so there's something about this person where they have their guard up. This person finds it very, very hard, difficult to open up and to trust other people. This is something that this person could have spoken on or told you about. Like, you know, I have trust issues or you know this person could have trust issues. Um, this person, for some reason... Y'all, and you can laugh, but I, it looked like somebody, the dude on that card was like handing his homeboy a little old, uh join or something like, hey, chill out, you know, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm seeing there. But yeah, this is definitely somebody who wants to open up and they want to show you their true self, but this person finds it very hard to trust people. This person could have mommy issues. <laughs> this person could be very interesting though I mean, like this person could really pique your interest uh it says conspiracy theorists down the rabbit hole of make-believe but to me um conspiracies aren't always down the rabbit hole okay so i guess the proof is in the reader all right um i feel like this person could probably have some great conversations you know they believe in questioning how certain things have went in life um, this person is very interesting. I feel like, and they definitely pique your curiosity. You know, there's so much more to this person and inside this person. And you really want to open it up because this person is so amazing in the way that the way they think. I feel like you and this person have a lot in common. You guys can talk their theories and their thoughts about certain things in life are intriguing and they find themselves opening up and talking about certain things with you and it scares them see look child i literally said i think this person could have mommy issues <coughs> And it says childhood issues they thought they fixed, but they did not, okay? I cannot make this shit up. This card was not out. When I said I thought this person could have mommy issues, I feel like this person, whatever happened in their childhood is what this trust issue stems from. I don't feel like it's like a bitch that like ran them through the mud and used them, which it could have been. They could have gotten, fell in love very young and somebody hurt them very badly. But there's this energy where it's like, um... This is something that has to do with their parents, grandparents, some kind of issues that stem from childhood that they thought they had fixed, but they didn't. And so this is where they're very guarded, scared to open up, scared to open up to who they truly are. See, what's interesting is these two people look like the same people and these cards come out. So there's this separate energy, a female energy, okay, that is in your energy right now. And this person is pretending to be nice to you just to push you over the edge. So there's somebody that's in your energy that's pretending to be your friend, pretending to be buddy-buddy, pretending to be cordial with you. But whoever this person is, they're vengeful and will seek revenge to tear other people down. So I don't know if you and this person have had like, this is like a fake friend in your energy or somebody that you might have gotten into it with. But then, you know, now they're being nice to you, trying to keep it cordial just to, you know, be able to get their lick back. This is somebody that definitely feels some kind of. scorned energy towards you they want some kind of revenge on you they're very vengeful 
and what happens is like they want to tear other people down and this person could just be pretending to be nice to you this is definitely a feminine energy a female energy she might not necessarily be feminine but she has a vagina okay whoever this person is is like they know they know that what they're doing is going to push you over the edge it's going to take you out of character and all that's trying to do is tear you down and take you out of this place that you're in Now, this could be whoever this guarded person is now, too, that is just pretending to be nice to you to push you over the edge. But I just don't, I feel like this is a separate energy. Let's see. Let's see what else is going on with the collective person spirit. Okay, and since this is your person, so this could be somebody that's in your person's energy. A feminine, a female that's in your person's energy. Who is being nice to your person and pretending to be cool with this person to try to play with their emotions and play with their feelings. But really this person is just seeking revenge and trying to tear some shit down. I'm feeling like this is a karmic energy. Okay, spirit. What's on the bottom? Because spirit is calling me to read the bottom. Fake accounts to look you up. Oh my gosh, I can't make this shit up. Okay, so this is a karmic energy. Because I'm asking about your person's energy, not y'all's, okay? So this is where this spirit, guys, thank you for awakening that third eye for me. Because this is a feminine energy that is in your person's life. And I feel like this is a karmic energy. And whoever this person is, they're like, it's almost like you and this person have this chemistry. And whoever this other energy is here, they see it. So it's like they're trying to weasel their way back in to this person's life by being nice. But they know that whoever your person is, and I got to be honest, did have feelings for this karmic at one point. Or this karmic manipulated this person and their feelings at one point and played on their feelings. And so this karmic knows it's almost like. I just heard head on their neck. Oh my gosh. So they, they got their foot on this person's neck almost. They know that they can manipulate and fuck with this person's feelings. And they're not doing this because they want this person back. They're manipulating and playing with this person's feelings because they see there could be some kind of where this person's looking you up. Okay. Seeing what you and this person have going on. They see, there's some kind of chemistry. I feel like whoever this person is, they could have heard from a mutual friend. This is definitely an ex of whoever this person is that you're dealing with. And it's almost like a mutual friend told them, told this ex that, you know, this person has somebody they're talking to that's in their life. They have this insane chemistry. Now, this could have happened in the past, present, or future, but this is going on here, okay? Oh, they have this great chemistry. And so now this ex who didn't want shit to do, or this karmic, whoever this is, that didn't want shit to do with the person you're thinking about, now wants to weasel their way back in. And it's not because they want this person. It's out of spite, vengeful, and will seek revenge to tear others down. It's really to make you feel like shit. It's to make this other person feel like shit. I'm also feeling a sister energy of the person that you're dealing with. That could be pretending to be overly nice to you. So be careful of that. All right. Let's see, spirit, ancestors, and guys. What else is going on with this person here?
their environment is toxic. Negative influences are gossip. I'm telling you, whatever they're going through, it's toxic as fuck. It, and I feel like whether this is a friend, a family member of theirs, an ex of theirs, it's toxic. And I'm telling you, that they could go... So this person over here is an ex. But it's almost like this person's family... Or, or have mutual friends still fuck with this ex and talk to this ex or are friends with this ex. So they go back to this ex and gossip with this ex and talk about what you and this person has going on or what, what the chemistry or whatever this is. And now that's how this person wants to weasel their way back in and play on your person's emotions and feelings. Because whoever this ex is or this person is, they they did know your person's family, friends. It's like they might have lived. They might it might have been a long term relationship, whatever it was. It's almost like that song. Cause you don't want me until I'm with somebody else. Cause you don't ever want me until I'm with somebody else. and happy and moving on right then the, here comes this karmic back to throw everything uh, create a hurricane and a tornado again we have overloaded at work now this has come out in a couple of readings recently work takes over their life so there is this energy where this person is working a lot Whatever this person is going through, they're secretly unhappy. We have in a perpetual state of boredom. And then we have how they perceive you, dif differences in perception. And so there could be like a worry. I don't know. It's like how, and I'm not seeing like it's a difference in perception when it comes to you two. I feel like when it comes to like these people. Um, that they surround themselves with or family members or whatever it is. It's like they might try to down talk you, these family members. Now, I'm not talking about the karmic or the ex. I'm talking about now the family members that go back and forth between. I feel like they tell whoever you're dealing with that, you know, they're too good for you or you should do this or really fuck with whoever you're dealing with. But your person don't see you like they see you. Your person sees you for everything you're worth. This person really does care about you. They're just, I'm telling you, they grew up in a very toxic environment. Their family's toxic, continues to be toxic, mom, sister, whoever this is. This These toxic family members would rather lead this person back into a toxic-ass relationship just because they fuck with that other person or known that other person for a long time or whatever it is, rather than lead them in a direction that's going to make them happy. So instead, like whoever these toxic family members are, they go and they're talking to the ex about you, laughing, they're talk, telling whoever you're dealing with, oh, you know, why would you be dealing with them and blah, blah, blah. But your person's over here like, and how they perceive you, differences in perception, how they perceive you, and how this, your person perceives you are way different. But your person's over here secretly unhappy in this perpetual state of boredom. Acting like everything's cool with these people when it's not. You know, letting this karmic ex try to draw them back in. Letting these family members talk them to, into talking to this toxic person that they've tried so hard to break free of. Then here comes the manipulation. They could have a child with this other person that they're dealing with, okay? This could be somebody that they had a kid with. And that's why the family is cool with this other person, okay? So this can definitely be a baby mom, baby dad. 
This person is also scared that this person is going to end up getting you pregnant and then their spot is definitely not, um, or, you know, you, you're going to get them pregnant, however it is. And their spot isn't going to be as solid as it used to be because I feel like this is definitely now this, this karmic, this ex has a child with whoever you're dealing with. And that's why the family is cool with this other person and still talks to this person and deals with this person. Could be a little boy that they have together, but that's not for everybody. And this baby mom or baby dad, whoever they they go together, whoever they had this child with, it's like they didn't want them until they started, the, the family started talking about them moving on or having chemistry with somebody else. So now here comes this karmic baby mom trying to stir shit up within your connection. You make them nervous. They act foolish when around you. So there is this energy of like feeling like something very, very different from what they've ever felt before. And like I said in the beginning of the reading, I feel like the, you guys have two personalities that are very intriguing that ask questions that are kind of are like really on point with each other and they know this 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 connection goes deeper than what's on the outside they feel a genuine energy towards you but because of what these people are these toxic people in their environment you know they're guarded they're hiding you know they they, they find it difficult to trust people all right all right that's what i have for you if that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.